at the University of Hull in England. And this is part five of the six-part series, Maya 8.5 Basics. Now, we just covered the hypershade menu in the last tutorial. And honestly, if you survive that, the rest is easy, okay? I apologize for going so fast on that, but if I was, go, if I was to drag it out, it would just take forever. Now, Tutorial 5 is a special one because this is all about animating your objects or making it move, as I call it. Okay, so I'm going to go a lot slower on this one because there's not as much stuff to cover. And it's very important. You'll just love this. Okay, open a new scene. Okay, we'll open Maya 8.5. Open a new scene. And as always, make sure you've got your shelf tab showing and that your uh, uh, menu of menu sets is set on polygons, okay? So, what we're going to do, and you should be getting familiar with, it, with this by now, is we're going to create, up at the top, Polygon Primitives Sphere. And a sphere should appear in your work area, alright? Now, I want you to go up to the top menu, alright? And I want you to open up the Hypershade menu, either that way or click the button over on this side of your screen, just like we did last time, and get that Hypershade menu open, okay? What I want you to do with this sphere, this big sphere, is I want you to make it a big red sphere, and I want you to add a Fong surface from the Hypershade menu over on the left-hand side. This little round icon says Fong. All right? Strange, crazy word, but really nice. So we want to put a fong, a red fong surface on this sphere. So press the fong button, right? Right click in the work area, assign the material to the selection, just like we went over last time, okay? And make sure your fong is red. Now you should know how to do this all. And if I've lost you, well, you need to go back to the last tutorial and learn how to do it again, okay? Because you absolutely must know how to add surface materials to an object, all right? Now, like I said, your shelf tabs way up there should be showing. There's a whole series of them, okay? Now, we've been using general until now, but this time we want to select the shelf tab that says we want you to, I want you to, I want you to select the shelf tab that says curves, okay? Way right up there, you'll see it, all right? And way over on the end of that row of icons that comes up underneath curves, you'll see one that looks like a circle. It's actually called the nerves circle icon, and I want you to click on it. I want you to left click and drag a circle in your work area that completely surrounds your sphere. All right. Now, if you didn't, if you released your circle too early, well, you can always click on the Move tool and adjust the circle's proportions, just like you would any object in the view area. All right. So, I want you to have this circle surrounding your sphere. Okay. Now, you know what we're going to do here, don't you? Now, I want you to select the sphere. I want you to hold the Shift button down and select the circular path as well, so they're both selected, all right? Now, up in the very top corner where the menu set menu says polygons, I want you to change that now to animate, all right? Animation, it says. Now, that of course changes all the menu items on the very top of the screen, and now I want you to go to animate, Motion paths attach to motion path, all right? And your sphere should jump right onto that curve that you've drawn. 